Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. About half a million knee replacements are performed every year, and that number is skyrocketing, especially for baby boomers. When joints wear out, you don't have a lot of options. Can you really avoid knee surgery? Maybe. How specialist Denise Dorr reports on a local doctor who believes the body may heal itself with a little help from your bone marrow. Doctors are extracting bone marrow from 49-year-old Mandy Ackridge's hip bone. That really wasn't bad at all. I'm going to say if I had to grade it out of 10, it was less than a 1. Mandy knows all about pain. She's lived with it for years. Her active lifestyle caused severe knee arthritis. She couldn't walk downstairs. Life was kind of miserable because I, I was faced with a knee replacement, which I didn't want to have because I knew I'd have to repeat it every 10 years. Then she heard about Dr. Steve Sampson and a bone marrow injection designed to regenerate the cells of her knee. The concept that the body has the ability to self-repair and heal we all believe in and it's really about understanding the science and trying to treat the disease itself not just the symptoms. Dr. Steven Sampson was one of the first U.S. doctors to treat sports injuries with platelet-rich plasma or PRP. Blood drawn from patients has spun down to increase the concentration of platelets. Now he's taking this process a step further by infusing PRP with a patient's bone marrow. It's extracted right in the office. Once the bone marrow is extracted, it's placed in this centrifuge. The idea is to isolate the regenerative cells. And what this does is basically create the makeup, the cellular makeup of a younger individual. These young regenerative cells are then injected directly into the knee. This is really the new, new wave of medicine. Doctor of physical therapy Andrew Pritikin sees the results firsthand. And the recovery is faster. Uh, the tissue not only heals, but it actually gets better. This is Mandy's second procedure. After her first one a year ago, her MRI shows significant change. And what we're able to demonstrate is improved bone edema and bone healing, which is an early sign of improved cartilage and regeneration. The pain is 80% gone, and after this treatment, she hopes her knee will feel young again. I'm pretty sure it's going to take me to 100%. Denise Tador, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Dr. Sampson says most patients start to feel relief a few weeks after the procedure. This treatment is not covered by insurance. The average cost is about $5,000.